up traders what up investors ken here from dyslexic investor and let's just jump in right into this video of course gamestop coming out saying you know what we're gonna be selling one billion dollars worth of stock and yeah the stock took a poopsies this morning we're gonna be looking at a, at a chart here in a second here of course why are they doing this are they trying to hurt the redditors are they trying to hurt the shareholders of the company hell no they're trying to expand they're trying to transition from a retail storefront into a digital e-commerce gaming kind of uh site uh, or community uh and i think it's fantastic uh speaking on evaluations we're not going to be going into that because that's going to be really just going into like a battlefield uh with people on the value and then the growth side of things but as you can see here, what do they do with the billion dollars? Of course, that can create a smorgasbord of opportunities for GameStop to expand into. The, the rally has been insane. We know Ryan Cohen, who is the CEO uh, or the founder of uh, Chewy, what took it is a great is in great hands with the. They, in this article that they said led by activist investor, like that's a little bit aggressive. This is more like a guy that's just like, hey. We're seeing that things are beat down and we're coming in here. The activist investor usually has like a little bit of a negative uh, 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 viewpoint or stigmatism tied to it, but he's, he's doing well. He's not like he's coming in and just cutting different pieces of the company off and just selling it in little chunks like most activist investors did in the 80s and 90s and even the early 2000s. This is the more like millennial uh, kind of uh, activist investors where they come in and they actually try to grow the business and rather just kind of cut it down and cut it for bits and pieces. But we got this guy, that guy named John uh, Feedman. He says the analyst at his advisory group said uh, on a note Monday, we continue to believe the current valuations far exceeds our uh, our rosy fundamental expectations and projections, multiple year benefits, blah, blah, blah. blah. And of course, they just reported earnings two years ago, uh, and they missed on top and bottom lines. However, GameStop said it, its e-commerce sales jumped up 175%. That's pretty, uh, pretty astonishing. So, of course, let's look at the chart here. We're going to be jumping into the one-hour chart here. You can see here in early morning hours, it basically dropped from 190 all the way down to basically 150, and then from that, it just made not even a v-shaped recovery it just made a straight line up and it's kind of closing in where it was somewhat trading uh last week around that 185 ish range so really much like a more or less uh a, a bounce here uh is it's pretty substantial here i think it's a good thing for gme gme is taking doing the right thing they're like hey we are taking this opportunity we have all this potential cash we can sell some bada bing bada bang Again, they didn't disclose on who's buying or whatsoever, but I think it's a great opportunity for GME. Uh, for GME especially, we're trying to get back above the 209 to 210 level. That's going to be really a significant line in the sand that we've seen here previously uh, on the downward move that we've seen the last couple weeks, um, especially highlighting that all-time high at 483. That's the, some Fibonacci numbers that we need to be looking at and that potential move. As of as of right now, the, the, the chart is still just kind of treading water and just kind of trading sideways, looking for the next large catalyst. A lot of people probably thought this is going to create a huge sell-off in the market and just GME is going to come back down to 50 i don't know what they were thinking um but it looks like the market took it fairly well this could be uh, a, a catalyst uh, going forth we'll just have to see on what they disclose and how they are potentially uh, will be using that uh, that cash from the offerings from that uh, sale so on that note please don't forget to hit like and subscribe on the bells down there and if you haven't looked down below we have some great affiliate links from uh, amazon and tastyworks so if you open up a tastyworks account of two thousand dollars or more you have a opportunity to select from 100 shares or 10 call options so definitely check it out if you're wanted trading trading account i want to be trying to start a new series on educating people on options all right ladies and gentlemen take it easy catch you guys on the flip side peace